since 230 year history, we have inaugurated 27 presidents. Today we will inaugurate the 28th, and we will also inaugurate a first. I am so excited and honored to be standing here today as the first woman to serve as president of Dickinson College. As a As I've said to many of you, this was a relationship born of mutual agreement. I pick you as much as you pick me. George Dickinson is a preeminent example of a truly unique, wonderful American institution, the Residential Liberal Arts College. They're talking about it now in Singapore and in Shanghai and all over the world, but we own that model and nobody does it better than Dickinson. Yes, this is a celebration of Dickinson, but it's also a moment to reflect on the transformative power of a residential liberal arts experience. The relationships that form between student and teacher that evolve into student and mentor and sometimes colleague. So if there was a time for bold presidential leadership in higher education, Nancy, it is now and it is you. We must plan for a world of shifting economies and with increasingly invisible boundaries. However, as the demographics shift around us, as the world changes, our mission should not. Our model is sound. Our product is sound. And needed now more than ever. Thank you so much. Thank you.